What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Lethal Levinson. And today, we got some 2K drama staring up, man. Recently, well, as many of you may know, if you play on the Xbox One, Nate Exe, you guys know who Nate Exe is. He's the top rep dude in terms of Sunset. Plays this game all day, has no life. But I mean, he's already a superstar three. But recently, a video has come out by AO, which I'm going to link in the description, of someone playing on NateX's account in the park, earning him wins. Now, NateX has come out and said, first off, he said no one's ever played on his account in the park, which that was a lie, which he got exposed for. And then after he, he saw the video, he said, oh, it was only one game. It was only one game. So not only does he change up his story, now it's only for one game though. See, I liken this to a, say, I'll give you guys an analogy. Say I go to school and someone takes classes, takes my own classes for me. At the end of four years, I'm getting the degree with my name on it. But did I really earn that degree? No. So in 2K, that's considered boosting, especially if you're going for the top rep in all of all of the consoles. You're comparing with Orlando, trying to make sure you get that top rep, and you're supposedly supposed to be grinding, but someone else is playing for you. So I mean, that's totally, totally not being legit with your fans and your audience. So basically, he's come out and said it was only once. He didn't know, and it's not going to happen again. I'm going to give you guys another analogy. If a baseball player or a player that gets caught using steroids, if he says, I only used it once, this is my only time, my suspension shouldn't be that big. Are you really going to believe him? Are you really going to believe that player for the first time used steroids? Hell no. So, I mean, Nate actually, first, they actually didn't even know he claims that someone was playing Park on his account. Then he claims it was only one game. Which I find very hard to believe considering he's played about, what, almost 4,000 games. And only one of those 4,000 games, someone's played Park. Now this dude's always appearing offline, so when he's not streaming, no one knows who could be on his account. Honestly, man, I don't believe that shit. I sure as hell don't. This man, Nadex, <laughs> this dude throwing a temper tantrum when someone puts a video of him boosting, claiming to be boosting. But he does the same thing to the 24K clan without with even less proof. This dude posted a video saying 24K clan was all boosters. And then he had no proof except, oh, they haven't taken any losses in 300 games, supposedly. But when it happens to him, he wants to throw a timbre tantrum, start crying and moaning. Go dislike his video. Hey, shut the fuck up, bruh. <laughs> fucking clown, bruh. That's what pisses me off, man. He's fucking, he's a hypocrite. Total hypocrite. I know he has a lot of fanboys that are probably going to come dislike this video before even watching it. Even though I'm spitting facts. Spitting straight facts for y'all. I mean, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you cannot deny this is in a form of boosting. If I pay someone to play games for me, he's already acknowledged. First off, he pays someone to play my career. So what's to stop that same person from play from playing Park if he just says play Park? Or even if that person plays Park without his permission. At the end of the day, it's still boosting. Because you're getting a competitive advantage <laughs> on 2K. Oh man, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, man. Nate XC, you've been exposed. I don't care what anyone says. If you're going to expose someone with even less proof, then don't cry when it happens to you. Alright? This is Lethal, signing out. Peace.